Atari Teenage Riot, live in London. There they are on stage, again, after a decade. Filthy noise, mashed up beats, visceral vocals, a dash of hip-hop, a lorry load of industrial noise, a lot of skewed Atari filth. All this from two keyboards and three vocalists, live in London. Just when we need them back, Atari Teenage Riot have suddenly re-emerged to set the benchmark for noise and noise freaks. The Berlin-based band emerged in the 80s and were politically charged crew on a mission. Their gigs were riots. They performed in the techno and the punk scenes. They were anti-fascists in a tense time in the German capital. I first interviewed them round the corner at the Roundhouse at the time, in some long lost studio when they're re-recording a version of Sham 69's If the Kids Are United. They were at the time they were gangling German youth, fiercely and beautifully political, almost a last stand for feared fierce idolism in a music world that had forgotten how to be political in a druggy, hedonistic time. All those years later, they have been through the mill. They lost members to drugs, but other people have left the group. Main Man, like, Main Man Alec Empire has released a whole heap of great records on his digital hardcore label. After blueprinting, the escape route for techno for several bands. Atari Teenage Riots were pioneers. And I could argue that groups like The Prodigy and Ramstein have taken that opportunity that they provided of crossing techno beats was some kind of rock filth and rock noise. Noisnicks thought that they had seen the last of the band who mashed together idealism, those frantic, dirty, industrial beats, filter through a fuzz box, with a techno taken to its logical conclusion. They also combined Kreuzberg squat culture, punk and techno. The group, though, dissolved a decade ago. Then, a few months ago, a series of shows were announced and in the middle of the new world order of recession and increasing tension, it created a perfect backdrop for this angular anger of the band. Atari Teenage Riot did a, I've done a series of dates around Europe. It was a killer show in Amsterdam. There was rumours coming from all over the place. Twitter and Facebook were alive with the talk in that time-honoured modern way that you get to hear about music far, far away from traditional places of the music press. This new digital age really suits Atari Teenage Riot. After all, they're pioneers in the form. And it's no surprise that Alec Empire is a regular on Twitter. Communication, after all, is a key to this band. They took a fierce stance against the Nazis rising in Berlin in their time. And when they came from Kreuzberg, which is the key cultural suburb of the city of Berlin. For, for many years, it was a Turkish enclave surrounded by a sea of German. And that, then it became the squatter's place. I remember going there in the late 80s. It was just full and full of squats and great squat bars and great squat culture. The idealism and the frantic politics of the squat scene were completely part and parcel of the Atari teenage riot experience. Older and wiser? Yes. They certainly don't um, pro- provoke just for the sake of it now. This is about idealism and making a good political point, but it's also about filthy noise, which they got so tuned is absolutely perfect. They are actually better now than they were 10 years ago. The group is more concise, the sound is more powerful, and the noise is more filthy. It's an incredible wall of sound as they hit the stage. Maybe we've forgotten that music could be this, this so intense and, and noisy, and yet so life-affirming. I Like Empire is a fantastic interview. I interview him backstage and he talks eloquently and smartly about what the band is and what the band's about and the mishaps has gone through the group in the last 10 to 15 years. He talks about digital hardcore records. He talks about what Atari Teenage Riot can hope to achieve in this opposed to Obama age of consensual politics. He sees there are still problems. He understands that. And the band still captures the frustration of being idealistic in these dark and dangerous times. <laughs> 